So for now, I think I'll take you around uh, for a tour of Regent Point Marina, which is a great marina on the Rappahannock River, um, just uh, west of Deltaville. The marina has very nice bath and shower facilities. There's also a one bedroom apartment that is situated above the bathhouse, and I believe that is rented out on an annual basis. There are storage lockers available to slip holders. There are also barbecue and picnic facilities, very nicely maintained. For the kids, there is a jungle gym, a basketball court, and for the older kids, a shuffleboard court. I have not seen the shuffleboard court get any use. Here we are at the Regent Point Marina boatyard. As you can see, most of the boats have been hauled out for the winter. There's a very nice boatyard facility here. The team that works for Paul Anderson is very competent. They charge very competitive rates and they do great work. The boatyard also has this large steel building uh, inside which they undertake uh, large refit projects or anything that needs to be done outside of the elements. There's a very nice Shannon 38, I believe, that's been inside for about a year that they're completing a total refit on. I particularly like this uh, Morris Francis. Just a beautiful boat that's sitting there on the jack stands. Regent Point Marina, with over 200 slips, primarily for sailboats, but I guess trawlers are welcome, although I've never seen any here. Set on a beautiful Lockleys Creek, just off the Rappahannock River, southeast Virginia, very close to Deltaville, about a 10-15 minute drive to the West Marine in Deltaville. Eight thirty PM for January twenty fifteen. There is a massive storm howling outside. We've got gusts well over forty five knots. I've got everything secured as as good as I can. Triple bow lines, triple stern lines, got the fenders out, snug up against the uh T T head. Uh Tried to secure the halyards as best I can. They're still slapping against the mast. You can see my little uh, boom bottle um, Bluetooth speaker system shaking there in the corner. And I don't think the boat's moving that much, but obviously there's, uh, there's some real force being applied to the hull. The wind is swinging around from the south to the north. And right now it's coming out of the south, southwest, soon to be coming out of the west, uh, which is the period of time that I have the most concern. Because it would be blowing right against the boat. Um, but I think with the lines laid out the way they are and the fenders out where they are, we should be fine. And then the wind will diminish, uh, according to the forecast, over the next few hours as it continues to swing around to the north, northwest, causing the temperatures to drop. It's still about 68 degrees here, but the temperatures are supposed to drop back down into the 40s. And when I cast off in the morning for Portsmouth, it's supposed to be in the lower 40s again. 
so oh joy stay tuned